So I got stitches, full reactions are on Patreon, or if you want you can pull up your copy of BoJack Horseman episode 8, The Telescope, and press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. I'm really hoping for a pretty strong follow-up to the ending of the last one, because that ending of the last one kind of felt like the first moments of this show, like, trying to do something. Like, we've been setting up characters up to this point, but... Getting us caught up, okay. Out. Yeah, right. All right. Ouch. God damn. <laughs> yeah, right. I assume fig figuratively. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, was... <laughs> to be fair, Todd was kind of being a shitty friend, too. Bojack finally starting to open up seemingly honestly and just being completely sidelined. I'm guessing that guy is going to die in this episode. Even though they said he had a lot longer. An entire store dedicated to Rubik's Cubes. Oh, okay. Okay. He really did used to take it more seriously, huh? I wonder if this is where he started drinking. <laughs> yeah. Really? I feel like standards of comedy are not hard to reach the point of kitchens and bathrooms, but okay. Okay. I, I admit, the bathroom kitchen thing was funnier. Hey.
So he definitely put in the work, working his way up in Hollywood. So you hurt his ass. He stole horsing around. And then Mr. Peanut Butter stole it. Ugh. <laughs> she actually did it. Oh. I mean, that's more of the after stardom thing, to be fair. No! Stephen King got another one! Yeah. I take it Herb didn't quite reach the same heights. Yep. No, no, no. He's catching you. <laughs> Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Feel bad for Herb there, because I don't I don't think that he uh meant what he said when he said me either, but maybe. Comedy and all. That's the joke. Sometimes you, you, you it's a night a little pushback from actors is fine. <laughs> You gotta stand on business sometimes, though. There's other horses. Oh, 
Okay, so I I was thinking when they started this scene that it was like the first recording session, but no. How many of those paintings did he <laughs> did he commission? I swear. It's a famous haircut you got right there. Did you just finish watching an episode of Friends? I see. Secretariat. Awesome. I'd say at this point, it's if he's a tabloid, uh, constant gossip story, I'd say it'd be impossible to stop it in that short time frame. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Wasn't just comedy. Wasn't sure. Wow. The 80s were a different time. And they, you stabbed him in the back by not having his, supporting him here. <laughs> oh man is that is you holding that telescope back oh the telescope title of the episode that's a good title. Holy shit, that's a good title. I assume that there's gonna be more with the telescope, but like, that, just that enough is how did we get so far apart, boom, telescope, like, fucking brilliant. Okay. Wow. I'm not disappointed you went with Princess Carolyn eventually. To be fair, if you're doing this five times a day, you're running a pretty shitty business model. Uh, everyone just cut. How long were you sitting there?
Ooh. At collecting himself there, damn it. Is it like, was that like his cash raise? Well, I mean, they eventually made a secretary at movie, or maybe it didn't happen in this universe, but... <laughs> oh. Oh, he's fucking with him, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> I like how it sounded like more of a horse. Uh, Winnie at the end there. <laughs> did, did you just... Yeah, right? <laughs> this was the deal! <laughs> you were warned! You picked the wrong person to be your getaway driver! Wait, are you, uh, the co younger co-star? No. <laughs> well, this is something for them to talk about. That was dumb, but it was funny. <laughs> Oh. You might actually get shot in this episode, Todd. I'm not entirely sure. Nice. Nice. I don't think you will. This feels like that kind of episode. That's terrible. That's actually horrible. Okay. I'm terrified which what what feel like you could have pulled that off earlier, but okay, sure.
right? I'm <laughs> no, yeah, right. Like the, he's the one with cancer. Like I get where you're seeing the double meaning, but one of the characters in this uh, conversation has cancer. <laughs> Well, yeah, it doesn't have to forgive you, but. Okay. I mean, yeah. Did you? Yeah, but that's not, yeah, it wasn't what was important to you in that regard. <laughs> oh, come on. How could I mean uh... <laughs> some mash bullshit? Oh, it's broken. Odd. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a good story. Please don't just jump off the cliff. Re history repeats. Holy shit. Yeah, that's the best episode so far. It definitely did not disappoint on the ending of the last one, feeling like, ooh, wait, <laughs> catching me like that. It is, it's not just like the past or the future. It, it was legitimately the, the intertwining story that did it. Didn't much care about what was going on with Todd. I feel like he was just kind of tacked on here. But. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, the 80s were definitely a much worse time to be a uh, gay person in Hollywood. 
in general, but I don't, I don't think it was a Hollywood specific problem. No, that was very good. That was a very good, believable set of scenes, how they wrote most of that. Next time. <laughs>